came by uh, one day in uh, Cottons. I was staying with Cotton in West Memphis. He came by and he said, Hubert, say I'm putting my band down. Say I'm going to Chicago. Say, ask Cotton, say if I send for him, will you let him come? Cotton told him, yeah. He hoped he's sitting back and get him. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And so that's what happened. So Wolf took you first. Oh, I went to Chicago. I met Wolf. I joined Wolf in Chicago. He already had the band when I got to Chicago right. over me. Yeah. yeah. He liked me. And he had Jordy William. Yeah. And he had Will Phillips. Mm -hmm. He had, uh, what is his name, playing bass at that time? What's his oh. name? Alpha Lickens. Okay. Played upright oh, bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy kind of looked like Muddy Waters. Mm -hmm. He stayed with us. Oh, man, we had a, we had a group. They get all but the piano player, Jose Kennard. We, about, uh, I guess about a couple of months, Wolf sent back and got Jose. Jose came and joined the group, and then we started to record. Wow. Sure did. Now, was that, that was before he was on chess? Nope. This was, uh, this was when he just had left Son label. Okay. Wolf, what, what happened, Son sold chess. I told Wolf to chess. Oh, sold the contract. Yeah, sold the contract. Yeah, right, that's yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. Because Wolf had how many more years? That's right, know? right. On Sun. That's right, right on Sun. Yeah. So he went to chess. So when we got to chess, my first recording, I knew Wolf forget it, man. I was so nervous. And, but Joe did, William told me, he said, hey, man, don't be, don't be nervous. He said, that's Wolf. I said, I knew it, but man, you remember down south? I said, this guy fired us because <laughs> he said we was too good. Why you think he got you here now? That's what he said. Why you think you up here now? He yeah. said, don't say, look, this is what he doing. You know what he doing. You have to show me some of this stuff. So we, st we recorded. Wow. Man. Start the recording for chess. Can you we know. talk? Can we talk a little bit because we're both guitar players and I have yeah. a perception of you you know, like as you know, like one of my guys. You know, when I was coming up, hearing your playing, uh, you know, with Wolf and what what all my you know, I grew up in Detroit, and all my buddies and everybody and listening to all the Cats, right? All yeah. all the guys from yeah. that era. Yeah. You know, the thing that yeah. stuck out the most about your playing to me was that it was very lyrical and it was very unique, and the sounds and the tones. You know, I mean, and I, and I know I, I sort of remember, you know, uh, reading early on, like especially about Muddy, where when they went to record him and they talked to him, he talked about you want to record my blues, and and the, each guy had his own version. Yeah. Nobody copied one another, per se. I'm sure you heard a guy, oh, I might want to get that guitar or that t or that amp or whatever was going yeah. on. But your playing was transcendent of that. Did you? What, where did I mean? Was it the radio? Was it was it other types of music? Or you know, what inspired you to kind of? You played longer phrases, is what I'm saying. Oh, sure. You know, sure. Yeah. You know, we was playing at this place in in Chicago when I got with Wolf. Oh, the, the, I had them recorded with him already, but we was playing this club, man, and so and we had been playing. I had been with Wolf almost eight years, and this guy fired me. Wolf fired me. You say, hey, man, you know what? I've been noticing you for eight years. See, you've been running off leaving me. I'm, I can't get my words out right. I can get my words out, say, but I stopped listening to you and listen to the band, and, and they ain't playing right. And I said, nah, this guy, now nah, I've been with him eight years. And he telling me now yeah. that I ain't playing right. Yeah. I, I haven't played it. Let me tell you something. He said, you go home, take his stuff down. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna tell you what he said, man, but he take his stuff down now. About 700 people in this club. Wow. He was full, man. Nightclub. Oh, I never figured get it called Key Lago on Roosevelt Road mm -hmm. in Chicago on the west side. And, let me tell you, I put my, I taken my guitar, man. I could have, I could have killed him, man. I could have killed this guy yeah. yet. Yeah. I ain't never been so hurt in all my days. Say, think about, put the pig down, put the straight pig down, man. Mm. <laughs> Start using your finger. 
So wow. you think about what I'm talking about before you come back. Wow. <laughs> no kidding, man. I goes home, I can't sleep. I can't thinking about it. I'm thinking about killing this guy. Right, right? yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's And not... so I put on the record. I, I went to the basement. I lived. I, I owned the place, this building that I live. And in my basement, I had every all my records and everything. All my music. I stayed down there that night. Bed. I man. I got. I, I played the records first. I got in the bed. Thinking about. It, I said, I ain't going back. That guy, man. I ain't. I, he didn't find me. What, what do you think? All of a sudden. Some came to me, man, and said, hey, why don't you do like he said? Cry your fingers. Cry your fingers. I mean, you, you got the, all the music, all the smokes like a lot. You got all this stuff down here. I, I got back up, out the bed, and put on the records. I listened to them, got back in the bed, put the guitar, half the guitar up under my pillow. Yeah, man. <laughs> I started listening to this music because I started thinking about what he was talking about. I, I got out to bed and got my guitar and started playing with fingers. Fingers, I played until they got so, man. Yeah. These fingers got so. These, not these, but these. Mm -hmm. So, you don't understand, I said, nah, shit. Nah, I don't know what it is. Man, let me tell you, I knew that I had to go back to work. Before I go back to work, I had to have his stuff. And like he's supposed, like, uh, you know, I supposed to play. Right. And then everything. You know what, man? I went back to bed after them got up, fingers and got so, listened to the record, went back to bed. I started thinking, dreaming, I guess. I knew I was dreaming. Say, you know what? Say, hey, man, that guy didn't tell me no lie. Say, get him and try your fingers again. I so I got back up, man. This is when I found out, I said, oh, this is what he's talking about, man. Yeah. Let's, let's play that. I, then I said, oh, then I could feel what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, all, yeah. All these screens, you know, yeah. stay with my fingers. Yeah. Although they were so. Let me tell you something. I went back to work the next couple of nights, man. He told me to come be at the club, be, be here. Let me see. See what you're gonna do. See how I did you did you learn anything? He helped me to the last person. The last number. He said, now let me see if my guy got it. L ladies and gentlemen, let's see if my my son learned anything. What I I told him to do. Let's see. Sure In one man. night? One night, man. <laughs> I got, I got, I, I plead. You I went on and got baptized. Oh man, baptized. <laughs> and fingers got well. <laughs> fingers got well, man. From then on, let me tell you something. I, I put the pick down, man. Wow. Start playing with my fingers. Wow. And so from then on, I started putting the music to all the numbers.